Hello, and welcome to another edition of All or Not According to Jack with your host, Jack Toledano. So it's been about a week since I've been on last, uh, just letting everybody know that I need a little rest and relaxation. A lot of things going on in my life, burning the candle at both ends, uh, you know, work and this All or Not a show, and uh, my project Upstate New York. Uh, building our uh, second home upstate, so I finally got to rest this past weekend uh, from all the travel, so feeling well rested and ready for another episode of Seinfeld Dictionary of Terms and Catchphrases, edition number five. So since I hadn't been on all week, I'm going to give you ten definitions, so the first one, I'm going to have Mr. Mini Me Jack help me with this one. And here we go. Levels. Levels, Jerry. Levels. All the levels you could ever want. So that one was me at, at the Lowe's in Garden City last uh, a few days ago. I just happened to be in the tool corral, and I walked by the levels, and, you know, art imitating life, right? So, in any event, so, that is our first definition. Season 2, Episode 2, Levels. When a person who has nothing going on in his life designs levels for his apartment. Uh, they could be carpeted, they could be wooden, who knows? Who knows what's going on in the mind of Kramer. Okay, so back to Season 1, Episode 5, The Dating Decathlon. Uh, 1. When dating a new person and taking them away for the weekend with no downtime. Number 2. Advancing a relationship to Phase 2. Okay, so third definition. Episode 2. Season 9, break up by association. When a woman breaks up with a man, then by design she must also break up with his friends, or vice versa. Definition number 4, Season 3, Episode 14, Coma Etiquette. What is coma etiquette? When a person who would know when they can, when a person would know when they can date someone who has been with somebody who is currently in a coma. Who are these three stooges? Okay. Number five. From season three, episode 21. Putting something in the vault. It's a vault! Keeping a well-guarded secret, especially when there's gossip involved, or pants sizes, or underhanded ways of getting ladies' phone numbers. Synonym, synonym, vaulting it. I'm putting it in the vault. Okay, so I've recently, that, that, now that I'm scouring all the episodes for definitions, I recently got to season six. So let's do a few from season six, both from episode four. Ridiculous. What a Caucasian woman who thinks she's Asian might say. Also from episode 6, season 4. The rhymes are crossed. What a Caucasian woman who thinks she's Asian or German might say. Rhymes are crossed. Okay, so back to season 5 for the, for the last three. Season 5. Episode 1, The Mango. Uh, well, actually, not that's not the definition. The, the, uh, the term is called the tap. 1, when one is not performing adequately below the equator. Synonym in baseball. When the manager comes out to the mound and gives the pitcher the hook. The tap. Episode 5, Season 2. 
for those of you who couldn't, who couldn't hear me, I said, the low talker. <laughs> one, one who speaks so low in volume that others in the conversation have to pretend that they understood what was said. Number two, one who speaks in low volume or low tones to deceive people into wearing objectionable clothing on TV. Okay, so the very last one. And we have a prop. Look to the cookie. Season 5, episode 13. Look to the cookie. The idea that a black and white cookie will bring peace and harmony to all of mankind. Mmm. Delicious. And I have one last prop. I'm going to give you my odd fellow look to the cookie. So if you look really closely, so you see the black and white, and you see the three links, that's FLT, meaning, meaning friendship, love, and truth. In all seriousness, people, come on, let's look for a better way. Let's all live in peace, harmony, and understanding. Friendship, love, and truth. This is Jack Taldano. All or not according to Jack, peace be with all. Bye now.